Hello to all, 10 April 2011 in Tokyo. Uh, this morning, uh, not much. Not much. Maybe tonight we're going to have more information. You know, when I'm saying uh, information, I'm talking about the danger, the real danger of a radioactive element. Maybe a lot of uh, people uh, now who are watching the videos on YouTube, some of you probably are young, you no, know, around 20, 25. If it's the case, You might not know about Chernobyl, or you might just learn about Chernobyl recently because of the re re relation between Fukushima accident and the, the one at, at Chernobyl. Yes, they are not the same. Chernobyl reactor explode. It didn't happen here, but another problem. Happened and radioactivity spread everywhere. Some will call me a liar, but well, we have the evidence. So, you know, when the Chernobyl uh, happened, I was uh, 16 years old already. Man, I'm getting old. I remember as if it was yesterday the total panic everywhere and in France and we can uh, still find this message online now at the French radio at the time they said don't worry don't worry the Chernobyl uh, cloud stopped at the French borderline you can find it everywhere on the internet I'm sure I, I, I listened to the message again a few days ago. So, the cloud from Chernobyl spread all over Europe, but it stopped at the French borderline. I think the radioactive cloud from Chernobyl didn't have a valid passport. So, he could not enter in France. Now, today, the 10 April 2011, what's happening? I'm asking you, because I'm, I'm not going to tell you, because you know as much as, as me, what is happening? Not here. What's happening there, in your country? In some country, USA, for example, Iceland, you record iodine and celsium in your country. Please, if I say something wrong, let me know. That's what I read, that's what people tell me. You record iodine and celsium in country as far as USA. And this iodine and celsium come from Fukushima power plant. Okay? So, the wind. Okay. The wind blow in your direction, sorry. But I see during uh, the years when we have the typhoon, you know, a typhoon uh, every year uh, in Japan, uh, in Asia, we have a typhoon. I see that often the typhoon come from uh, south and go in the direction of Hawaii. 
So I believe that the strong wind uh, in uh, this area really goes, you know, in the direction of Hawaii and USA. So, here's the point I wanted to make. If you live in uh, USA or Hawaii, are you okay to record radioactivity from here going into your country? Do you think it's okay? Imagine me, oh no, not me, because I will never say that, but imagine someone living in Japan and saying it's okay for Japan, the wind blow east, so the radioactivity will go in USA. Will you be happy to hear something like that? So the big wind goes in your direction, unfortunately. Well, you are far, so let's hope that things will be fine. But sometimes the wind blows a different direction. Every day the wind blows north, south, east, west, you know. So the point of all this is if the iodine and the Celsius can travel as far as Europe or USA. How come here, on the same place where is this Fukushima power plant, how come he will not travel in all the country? Just trying to be logical. The Celsius and the iodine can travel as far as 10,000 kilometers away. East. So, how come it will not traveling 500 kilometers south or 1,000 kilometers west? Trying to be logic, logical. Nothing else. You know, it, it's it's illogic. This thing is spreading all over the world. And I'm not trying to, to make you afraid. You record in other countries. So it means that these elements are traveling all over the world. But not here. They go into other country. It's better. Well, I'm sorry. You know I don't think it's better, but this is what seems to be in the mind of everybody, not in this country, but in all the country, as long as the radioactivity go in another place, it's fine. That's what people think. <clears throat> the plutonium. We all know that the plutonium is the more dangerous we all know, we have evidence from experts that some plutonium pools are not underwater and that some plutonium have melted. Last week, we found plutonium in the soil around Fukushima power plant. But since, since they said it, then the Areva, the French nuclear corporation, came in Japan. And since we don't talk about plutonium anymore. And you see, I'm not a liar. Where is the plutonium? Does anybody know? Some accurate information today, the 10 April 2011, does anybody know where is the plutonium? Have you heard about plutonium? this week. 
I don't think so. Because we don't talk about it. And we know from experts that we cannot uh, see the plutonium with a counter GGR. You need a special device to find the plutonium. Only there's a nuclear guys have the material to, to, to say here there is plutonium here. So it, it will be it's very easy to hide the plutonium now because we cannot see it, we cannot detect it. Iodine they say half life of eight days, fifteen days depending on, on channel. So let's talk about iodine. Then people will understand that after two weeks the iodine will uh, disappear. Well, Celsium, 30 years, half-life, it's a big long, bit longer. But the plutonium, 24,000 years of half-life. The plutonium is released in the atmosphere now. It's released since probably the beginning of all this disaster. I made a video when it was confirmed that the plutonium were released in the atmosphere. And this is more than one week ago. How far the plutonium can travel? This is my question. It's just a question I am asking to you, to all of you. How far the plutonium can travel? The say plutonium is heavy, it will not travel too far, okay? But the other element, today we have the evidence, they can travel at the other side of the world and come back here. So, when they say plutonium cannot travel too far, how far it means? 500 kilometers? 2,000 kilometers? 10 kilometers? Don't you want to know? Where is the plutonium now? I mean, the plutonium who was released, who is released in, in, in the atmosphere. It's probably in the sea, in the air, in the soil. But why aren't we talking about the plutonium? Since we know the plutonium is the devil. The plutonium is a killer. Why aren't we talking about plutonium since more than, than one week? A simple question that I am asking today, 10 April 2011. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.